Okay, welcome. Welcome to the library for, for episode number three. This or four. Uh, what number? Wait! <laughs> what two? Two. 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 It's episode four. Four. Okay. four. four. Yeah! It's four. Four. It's TV time. We missed two and three. It's like, like dog years. You can't, uh, yeah. not, you can't calculate it just like regular time. The next episode's going to be like 50 years. That's right. <laughs> They're jumping ahead. Yeah, it's going to be like uh, heroes. It's going to be all over the place. <laughs> okay, welcome to episode four of the Battle of the Bands, Rockus Maximus. Uh, tell us who you are. Let's, let's say, tell us the band name and go individually and tell us what your names are. We're the Devil of Sod. My name's Khalil. I'm lead vocals. I'm a sky. I play drums. I'm Charlie. I am a lead bass player. <laughs> I play lead guitar. Uh, I'm Ronnie. I play rhythm guitar. Okay, excellent. And uh, tonight we're going to talk about literacy promotion. So, uh, what you guys want to do is tell us if you have a book or a movie or a CD, music, something like that, that you think is really important and that you think everybody should listen to. Uh, maybe it changed your life or it just influenced you guys in a really, really big way. So, uh, who's going to be the one that's going to talk to us tonight? They're pointing that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can just talk about something okay. that makes fair, but we can start with this one. Okay. Um, uh, I'd like to promote um, a book and a movie also, but mostly a book first. Uh, it's a book by Jeff Long called The Descent, and it's actually about these miners who find this huge underground cave system with these creatures inside, of course, um, because it wouldn't be a good book without creatures. Um, but anyways, the reason I liked it so much is because Jeff Long actually goes really into detail, like going actually back into uh, biblical ideals and stuff with how the monsters came to be, which is always good to have a backstory, knowing that way it's just not random monsters killing people. Cloverfield. <laughs> um, anyways, it's, it's a really good book, and I would suggest uh, looking it up sometime. There's... A bunch of other books he did too that remains escape me right now, but I've read them. <laughs> um, there's also a movie, or a bunch, a couple movies by a director named Danny Boyle, who's probably one of my favorite directors right now. Um, he wrote and directed 28 Days Later, which reinvented the zombie genre, um, taking a huge city like London and making that a quarantine zone. And just the way he directed it, pretty much change any ideas anyone had about horror at the time, considering all that's being pushed out now or a bunch of crappy movies. Um, he also made a movie recently called Sunshine, which is an incredible movie about um, a group of astronauts who go into space to um, shoot a nuclear warhead into the sun to restart it, because in the movie the sun is dying and everything. <laughs> But anyways, he even incorporates horror and a lot of drama into his movies, and I really like that when it comes to entertainment. So. Anybody else want to say something? Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> the new Black Dolly Murder City is pretty intense. Uh, <laughs> nocturnal. True. Got some uh, a great CD. sick riffs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drums. Yeah. Everything they've put out previously is amazing, too. So. Yeah, it's extremely good new, new age death metal band. <laughs> Definitely. On that note, <laughs> I'd like to talk about an old death metal band, Animal Corpse. Back in eighth grade, it's this huge punk kid that listened to like the Dead Kennedys, Misfits all the time. Picked up the uh, the album Tomb of the Mutilated. My friend Nick Testa suggested it to me. Completely changed my life. Changed my perspective on a lot of things. I started listening to all heavy music, and I started playing music like this, started meeting people like this here. It's great. It's all downhill. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a giant downhill. As you can tell, it's on a slippery slope to nowhere. <laughs> it was like the char went up and it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, I, I want to talk about the new Between the Bear to Me CD called Colors. They basically incorporated, like, on a whole bunch of different genres into one CD, and it's pretty, mo pretty much the most supreme thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it's a death metal rock opera. Yeah. It's like eight tracks. There's like it's like it's like a seventy minute CD. Yeah. Each okay. track's like fourteen minutes yeah. long. It's crazy. Um. 
Uh, you personally enjoyed reading the Left Behind series? <laughs> I'm serious. I read four of those books and Sorry. I loved all of them. They kept me in suspense. Extremely good. You guys are I'm serious. I didn't like I didn't, the movie. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> watch the It's horrible. The video game you like, you either kill or you convert. I was <laughs> yeah, a great lesson. As far as Christianity goes. <laughs> well, the troops in Iraq are amazing. God bless them. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, so I got a couple questions for you guys. Yeah. Uh, what's the world going to be like ten years from now, and how can we be prepared for it? <laughs> Uh, I think there's a, a big global warming issue. <laughs> <laughs> it's either going to go to the extreme left or the extreme right. Either we're going to fix our problems or we're not, and it's just going to keep getting I heard a rumor that the world was going to end in 2012. That's, that's what, what I think that's, that's the like mind thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. the mind. Yeah. Is that, was that as that was? What if they're right? What if they're Dude, not? It's the it's mind. Like it's <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, look at their civilization now. <laughs> 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 they're real prosperous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, why should anyone spend time reading when there's so many other distractions that can occupy your time? Because reading keeps your, your, it exercises your brain, you know, if you don't read, you don't, like, it eventually you just forget things and you don't keep your literacy up. You it, just begin to forget things and you forget how to read. Reading, reading keeps you from uh, making mistakes like starting bands. <laughs> it keeps you on the right path. Yeah. <laughs> The path to success. It helps all the things that you were supposed to learn in school. You kind of learn those when you read. Exactly. Because yeah. you weren't paying attention. Everything is based around reading. You don't have to read your story. Unless you're blind and bald, you read Braille. You get one of those tape books. You just get a tape. Braille book. <laughs> <laughs> you just feel it out. Are they others? We're not going to attract blind jokes. So a blind guy walks into a bar. I got out. Right. Anyways, let's go to the next question. <laughs> uh, do you think music should be taught in schools, like reading, math, and science? Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How yeah. come? Because, because music is like, it's, it's, it's kind of the universal, universal language. For it's like the music. Music. Yeah. <laughs> each culture yeah. has their own set of music, and it kind of, it's each, each culture has developed their own kind of music, and each song or each thing is like, kind of like a story of that culture. It's a representation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the worst book, movie, or CD that's ever been made? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, first. Uh, Sound of Music is the worst movie I've ever seen. Why, why? <laughs> why his eyes? Because the music was horrendous. I don't care how many people like it or tell me that I should see it. I really hated that movie. Which movie? The Sound of Music. Uh, I really hated the movie uh, 40 Days of Night. <laughs> 30 days in night. Oh, I thought it was 40. 30. Oh, see, that's how much I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty horrible. Uh, uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Cursed. John Carpenter. Oh, yeah, that was really bad. Oh, yeah, that was bad. I saw that in the theater. It was actually so kind of funny. It was actually so much bad. more funny yeah, than yeah, it, it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I was kind of disappointed about the snakes on a plane movie. I uh, wasn't too too happy with the game movie. Same with the So, who would you guys say was maybe the most uh, creative uh, writer, composer, or musician in history? You had somebody like that? Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Donna Summer. Donna Summer. Um, mm. But seriously. Flattest night. <laughs> Franz List. What a woman. Uh, what a woman. <laughs> Franz List was incorporating jazz into his into his compositions way before everybody anybody even thought of playing jazz. There's chromatic progressions. There's back there's back down fist stepping in it. It's crazy. It's everything that Coltrane picked up, <laughs> at like 300 years later. <laughs>